Okay, guys, we're here with some crashing footfalls, this time with the innovation of Fury into the deck rather than Subtlety. We're playing the full eight um, Cascade spells for crashing footfalls. We've also got Force Negation, Brazen Bar, Bone Crusher, and Prismari Command. Another innovation to try and pitch to Force Negation and Fury. Let us get into it. Opponent last seen playing on Drazitron. That is not good. Chalice of the Void is a hard card for us to deal with, so hopefully we don't have to deal with it. Um, we're on the draw. Keep this hand, and I'll ditch Fury, I think. I think that's my plan. Good luck today. Thank you, Chili Ring, there. Oh, good thing they're all each run. That would have been annoying. I think I want to just leave up fire here rather than icing their land. Because if they play Douthy Voidwalker, I'd much rather fire that than just tapping down their land. And then we can just run out for some prismatic vista. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess I'm getting very punished, because I did not expect Goblin Mode to be coming out by the opponent. I guess I just don't have to do anything. Oh, I'm definitely gonna force a negation if they like Goblin Mode again. I'll pitch the Fire Nice, and I think that's fine. Oh. Sad day for your opponent. Sad day for you. I'd like to force engage in that one. So I'll cast this now. We'll see what ends up happening. Let's see how good my opponent's brain crew is. Not good enough, thank god. Not good enough to get back to the Vengeance Lions this turn. Got him. I think I'm just going to play up on Crystal Giant here. Just to have a bunch of power on the board. Don't really see them winning this game. They have double creature for the Vengeance Lion, and then we can kind of just fury them out, right? This card is pretty good when you're on the draw, let me tell you. They can't Cathartic Reunion, because they do not have enough land or cards in their hand to Cathartic. I think they're figuring that out right now. Oh, never mind. They can just do that. I guess that plays. Alms of the Vein. I did not expect to see Alms of the Vein here. That is annoying. That is very annoying. Guess they got me with the Oxygonics. Okay. If I draw another red card, I'll have lethal if I don't block here, so I'm not gonna block. Didn't draw another red card. So I will do this. Ooh, I can't kill both of those actually. That was a mistake. I just, I don't want to do this yet. There we go. For some reason I thought I could kill both of those. That was a bit loosey-goosey. Let's tag these two. That was a mistake. Should have just cast the Bone Crusher Giant and like stomp something. That's potentially an issue. Gain some life here. Pretty sure I'm supposed to be blocking Vengevine at this point, unfortunately. That Alms of the Vein actually came back to be very important. Kind of funny. It's not bad draw. Oh, 
Oh, they're done on board. It's an interesting, interesting play to not use this and just be completely done on board. A very interesting play by the opponent. I feel like endurance is going to be good here. As we get to stop bench lines. Dead and Gone deals with exactly the 1 2, basically nothing else. I think I like Force Negation though, especially when I saw Cathartic coming in. Well, I feel like this is not a matchup I will see very often, but it was interesting. So we'll see how it ends up ice playing. Save money. What do you mean, how to save money? What do you. I'm confused. How do you save money, RL? Is that like a question or something? I'm confused by your question. Um, you're supposed to keep this hand? Seems like you keep it to me at least. I'm ready for Bernie and Curry. Okay, they're just throwing out the E. That's an interesting decision. Been ready for the burning inquiry, just getting randomed out. A classic. Nothing quite like getting randomed out in Magic the Gathering. Discarded our way to deal with the EE. Classic. A true classic of modern gameplay. <laughs> uh, what great gameplay is Burning Inquiry? Still my least favorite card in all modern. Will continue to be just randomness. I mean, Hall One was cool to play, like, you know, when it's you and your deck gets to, like, you know, have all the good random things happen. But when uh, anyone ever does it to you, it just feels really, really bad. This is no real reason to to bunker a giant right now. I think I want to get to the point where I'm casting Fury like hard cast. Yeah, I mean, I played Tron in tournaments at the time, and just burning and curry away your Tron lands just humongous feels bad. Was an insane feels bad. Stindy with Opal. We all do, trust me. Will you play eight ticket mono blue tron? I don't think I will play eight ticket mono blue tron. Though I do have some, a tiny bit of spice, I mean, I don't know how spicy you'll consider it, but a bit spicier ones than, you know, this deck. Uh, randomness strikes again. Good old randomness strikes again. I mean, I am getting punished for not wanting to, to pitch the Fury. But... Did not think that they were playing Fiery Tempers, I didn't see it the previous turn. I'm just gonna have to use make them use their mana on this. And then our next one will be good. Anyone getting a lot of buffers? 
God. Yeah, no, wait. Why is my... My... Frames are dropping, like, 40%. Why is it doing that so badly? Hmm. That's really bad. I hope it does not continue. I have three bench ones in the air. That is very scary. Very, very scary. Hmm. Seeing some different bar effects. Now we get a cascade bit or suspend this. Probably doubt it'll get to that point in the game, but might as well play for it. Well, if they hit double creature, then we are dead. But that's just the way it goes. Nothing we can do about it. Hmm. Oh, I f well, luckily I didn't use that fetch because I forgot to. And it would have been bad for me, too. Um. You know, I'll most likely have lethal next turn with the other Fury being able to cast, so I might as well just leave back in case of the bench lines. I'm just getting fiery tempered here. I don't know why my internet is getting blasted so badly right now, but it seems to be having a lot of problems. It's very, very annoying, so it's buffering a lot. Um... Let's do a speed test. Let's try a speed test and see what it comes up with. I'm gonna play. I can keep this hand. Upload is three and a, no, it's not even three and a half megabits. That's really bad. That seems pretty bad to me, at least. Probably force pitching the force here, or whatever card they have. It's 3.14 megabits. Is that really bad? I feel like it shouldn't be that bad. I would like to draw that last turn, but I'm not, not going to complain. Not going to complain. Not quite what I wanted to happen, but they have double venge on the yard like again. Very, very nice. We'll take the hit here because I think I need to start getting stuff onto the board because the double venge line is very, very scary. Very, very scary. Well, they have E for zero. Sucks for me, doesn't it? 
But if they don't, then I think we're in a good spot. I think we're in a good spot. Don't have a E for zero. I lost the hollow one, which is good. Just ditching my other force negation maybe have been bad, but like I would have had to ditch the Prismari command and I can't cast force negation anyways. Doesn't really change much. I'm dropping like nearly Oh lord, my everything's like just getting dumpstered, I think. Cause like even my Discord is having like huge internet problems right now. Hmm. Why is is there some is there like something in like my background processes? Less power usage. Says nothing should be having a problem here. So weird. Why it's doing this. I don't understand. I don't understand why my frames are dropping so bad. Hmm. Hand looks kind of bad. I think I'm gonna mulligan it. Hand looks a bit better. I'll probably just ditch a force negation. I'm trying to figure out what's screwing me here, if anything. No idea why my internet is getting crushed. This matchup is a bit scary. A little bit scary. If it was the O2 Prem, I actually would be fine because I could just fire it. But I don't want to ice the land because they can return it, unfortunately. That was really bad for me. Ay, ay, ay. It's like worst case scenario. Double O3 crab. I'm gonna have to fetch here. It's not really an option. <coughs> Which is well, okay. Okay, they don't have the... Ooh, that is very appealing. Just, at the very worst, you know, deal with one of these. Alright, this isn't really doing anything. I think the main phase of Island Outburst. Red. Some stuff onto the battlefield. What's good is, you know, Tasha's hideous laughter is pretty bad. Okay, wait. Wait, what? What? 
I'm so confused. How do they have it when I fetched from the last turn and they didn't do anything? How did they have it? How did they have it? I'm so, so confused. I'm so confused. Hmm. So confusing. So confusing to me. I think I want Blood Nose here. Mystical's Fuse seems great as well. Endurance also seems great. Fire Ice seems pretty bad. Sink Dead and Gone. Isn't Bar Ice seems kind of poopy. Most of my cards seem kind of poopy <laughs> here. Durant seems like the best card by far. Super weird that they had the double on the fetch, like the double search your library mill card when I did it and they didn't know the first time, they did it the second time. Um, that seems like a pretty easy keep to me. Go get Forest, and then we have Island, we're good to go. I guess we could just go get another Island immediately. We have Double Island, it's not bad. I want to do it now, main phase, because if they draw, like, the fetch mill thing for the turn, they can't do it. Looks that I can't necessarily cast this Bone Crusher Giant. And then I cast the Blood Moon. We'll see if they fetch basics here. It's like they'll almost certainly fetch a basic now. Basic. Mystical dispute. Well, I guess they're gonna have some basics, unfortunately. Last game they had no basics. But still gonna jam the blood moon. Like, stop me, because it's going to be hard for them to cast their spells still. Sure, it's just not moving very much. Well, I hope the flickering has gone down, because it shows I'm gaining at least 5% of my frames back. I'm from 50% frame drop to only 39%, so it's actually even more than that. Hmm. They put Lurus in the hand. They put Lurus in the hand. I'll I'll just cast this. I guess. Can't believe they put Lurus in the hand. Lurus doesn't do anything. You have no black mana. Ooh, that Soul Guy Lantern is annoying. Uh, well, we're just going to kill him, it looks like. 
think I'm gonna go for Brazen Bar. Yeah, I'll Brazen Bar on the unstub, I think. Uh. Hmm. So like, okay. So I think my Brazen Bar is going to deal less damage, and if they counterspell it, then we get the Fury down. Okay, they've seen that. They're like, they're out of here. Hmm. I guess I'll keep it the same as I did last game. The one of Brazen Bar, we're coming in clutch. <laughs> huh. He's messaging me on my phone. Why is why is popping off? Let's keep put this into play, say okay, ditch this. I think this hand is fine at least. Could be wrong though. Punish for signing out a lot of my shocks immediately. I think I just gotta put this out. Wish I had something to pitch the Fury to kill that, but don't think I can pitch my Violent out first. Not great that we milled the crashing footfalls. Surgical extraction will get me good. Well, luckily you don't have surgical, so that's great. Now I can force negation on their turn after I bow out first. Let's see what they got. Let's see what you got for me, opponent. Just nothing. No lands, no spells. I'm a fan of no lands, no spells. I'm a fan of no lands, no spells. Okay, let's tap this correctly. I'm a fan of the do absolutely nothings. I'd like cast crashing footfalls. Most likely they're gonna counterspell this and then I force negation and we're feeling good. Now I've got two four fours. Probably win the game from this spot. Definitely feeling good about that draw. We can even do that at instant speed. Kinda good on Hmm. Should we do that now? I don't think we do it now. I think we wait. I'll just I'll just not cast it at this point. Maybe fetching there was bad. I only have one mana open, but this seems more than acceptable. 
Then I gotta shuffle my own yard back in. And they're gonna be real sad. Then, well, you're, you're at square zero now, opponent. There's scoop, 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 scoop. <laughs> Matchup felt easier than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. Oh, I was told to stop humming in my YouTube videos. I'm going to try and stop humming as much. I try really hard to not hum, but, you know, I like humming to some of these songs. This is a no-go. This is a go. I think I'm just supposed to ditch Fury here? Because we're on the play, most likely if we're, like, against an aggressive creature deck, then, like, you know, getting out Rhinos on turn three on the play is probably good enough. I'm rolling into five, so that's a good start for me. Well, they only have five. Let's see what type of deck they're on. So I guess I'll just keep playing tap lands. Doesn't really hurt me anyway. I don't think. Just just guy. Interesting. This is super annoying. That was very, very annoying. Very annoying. Hmm. Rest in peace. So they're playing the Nassif Jeskai deck, which I think is, like, very bad. I played it the other day, and it just felt like... Not... It did not feel like it, you know? Chaos Crashing Footfalls, thank you very much. Kind of sucks if they have Verdict, but we still have Violent Outburst, so it's not that bad. Is the verdict? Is the verdict? I want to keep the tri land in my deck because I don't want to fetch it. I want to draw it and cycle it. I'm going to draw it as a land. Another force negation. Pretty good for me, I would say. I do not care. Wait for them to have drawn the one-up counter spell. I'm just gonna be so sad that I have to pitch the force. Stupid mistake. Um. 
Oh, he didn't draw the one of Counter Spell. Feels good, man. We'll get the mountain here, I guess. My fetches can fetch more mountain. Well, more mountains than they can fetch mountains. Ice. Sure. The only card I'm really worried about is like another verdict. But they could like play some planeswalker. I care about like Teferi or Jace and like bounce a rhino, so. I believe a force against his last brain of mine. Do that instead. Cast this card. I'll be before Sengation again. Not really hurting me to do so. They're not doing anything. Craft Exile. Uh, I'll, get a, I'll get a forest, I guess. Should have actually gone to Nile. Still got my rhino. We'll do something here, right? I guess I will just leave up double brazen borrower now. Seems like we're in a reasonable spot. Seems like we're in a reasonable spot, I would say. Hmm. Makes sense. Alright, we'll cast another. They had double bolt, I would imagine they would have double bolted the rhino. Okay. Really didn't want to do that on the rhino, I guess. Well, now I'll cast out. Or I'll cast this fury. I won't target nothing. Oh, let's see if they draw verdict or another removal spell of some sort. They need to. Bad. Especially if they only have one rule spell and they um, like kill the rhino for some reason, then it provides lethal damage. That's nice. Shark Typhoon? Oh, well, they're gonna block the Fury. Does get him a turn. And they need to like have a way to deal with the board and then deal with this cascade as well. So I guess good luck to them. <sighs> good luck to them. I get out of the board, I guess like Blood Moon. And like maybe I just bring in more threats of Blood Moon that's supposed to be endurance. I get like all my rule spells. Is this just gonna be okay? That's fine. I guess they have a shark here. 
guess it is. I had a shark or a bolt, man. It's the only explanation. Dead or dead? D E D dead. D E D dead. So let's see. These are the cards I kind of want to bring in. Don't want those cards. Kind of want just Fury as like a five drop. I also like bringing the deals with Planeswalkers. This card kind of sucks. I'm not really pitching much to it. Yeah, that seems good. Just like lean, mean, rhino machine. Bringing endurance literally is a 3 4 flash. Doesn't seem that bad. I'll keep this in. I will ditch the Fury to the Gemstone Caverns, I think. Hmm. I don't think shocking myself really hurts me very much. I think I'm fine, like, stomping them and then playing out Bone Crusher. Like, the next turn. Could just not play out. Probably should have gotten like a basic forest or something there actually. Yeah, I should have gotten a basic forest. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna leave up force negation, I think. Slash like endurance. Because it's fairy. Don't wanna just like them to kill my bone crusher then play to fairy plus would be really bad for me. I don't think I'm gonna play the endurance on the end stuff here either. Because of the fact that like they chalice zero. Hmm, how much do I care about Child Zero? I care enough to make a move here. Care enough to make a move. Probably just get countered, but kind of have to make a move, I think. Well, if we get Blood Moon, feel pretty good about our spot, let me tell you. Blood Moon seems like they cannot really beat it. Are they going to counter spell it? I'm more than fine doing this. More than fine. Hmm. Very. If they bounce, then I get to just stomp it. So, and if they plus, then not a great spot either. They're kind of in bad spot unless they have a bolt. Regardless of what they do.
Let's do this. Yeah, I'll just put this out. Play this out. That's the turn. They obviously didn't have an answer for it before, so they need to find an answer for it eventually. I wouldn't be surprised if they breaked it away right now. I could play Charles Agent just as like a 2 2, although I think that's kind of bad. I'd rather find try to find the answer for this chalice first. Verdict. There's yeah, the verdict. Cast endurance. I'll endurance myself. I think I want to draw those cards, even though I shuffle two lands in them. The other cards are good enough that I would be fine drawing them. Not bad either. They're willing to use a verdict there, then they're probably willing to use a verdict on this if they need to. Two, one, make some noise. This matic ending. Oh, yeah. Stuff that. Play out the brazen borrower. Actually, yeah, I'll play it out still. And down to one seems worthwhile when we have cards like Bone Crusher Giant in our hand. Bring them down to potentially less than one now. Guess this. You need to either have an answer to this or that, which they don't have for either, so. Easy GG. 3 0. Oh. Right. Is endurance put on the bottom? There's a spell fill of Twinter who puts all the cards in the graveyard. Oh, it's on the bottom in a random order. Okay, I thought it was shuffled. I did not read it correctly. Bottom in a random order. Okay. Well, it looks like my dropped frames is a lot less than it was before. But. Hopefully, you know, it continues to be less and go down the amount of frames that I'm dropping. Add. Ah. Well, maybe we can get our first trophy if we're lucky. Lucky we can get our first trophy. Angle Lufa. I really, really hate playing against Angle Lufa. He's like one of my least favorite players to play against. He's both salty and plays like decks that I really don't like playing against, so. Bad combo. It's like usually like exclusively just ensnaring bridge like cheese cheese and decks. I do not want to draw that land. Red's a bit better, but still not what I'm looking for. Why is it like why does it change so often? And it's Angle Loof, but he's just going to play it, and then if you, like, draw well, he's going to salt you out. It's like an Angle Loof classic. Mm -hmm. 
Gives me an opportunity where I can raise a borrower. Make it so he doesn't have a thing. I'll do it. I maybe should have forced negation that turn. Or we'll suspend it. I really, really hate playing against this deck. It is like one of my least favorite decks to play against. In all of modern. I will not get to draw a good card for the rest of the game. Fun Magic the Gathering game plan, right, guys? Fun Magic the Gathering game play. Is this a Pandemonium? Hmm. It's all for solution that. Messed up. I was not supposed to. I guess I can just like play off raising borrower when they position me. Not the end of the world. I can just. I think it's like the Urza Saga tokens are actually just going to be too big. Wait, they can't Inquisition this? As a converted mana costs four. Alright, that's good for me, I guess. Stop me in my draw step. Stopping me in my draw step. Try to get me. It's an interesting play. Unfortunately, I still don't think I'm very favored in this game. Nothing. I guess they probably thought Seize Away are dead and gone. And then they. I mean, they could also just Gold Colors Bill. Looks like they all have thought Seize Away are dead and gone. I wanted to fetch because I wouldn't be surprised they got like Pitney Needle. They did get Pitney Needle. I don't think I can win this game at this point, unfortunately. Now they have a snaring bridge on top. A little bit too late. One turn, too late. Oh, they already had it? Wait. Oh, they cast the turning bridge already. Okay, never mind. That was just done. Okay, let's bring in four Force of Vigors. Um, let's 
card is essentially textless. This card also kind of sucks. Yep, let's, uh, let's do it. Four Force Vigor, hopefully good enough. This hand. Not the worst hand, not the best hand. I think, like, it's hard because you want to keep good cards, obviously, in your opening hand. And your opponent's playing, like, seven ish discard spells. But I see you on different decks every time we play. Force Vigor, good one. Snaring Bridge, she's usually my least favorite. I mean, Snaring Bridge, she's is like some of my least favorite gameplay. It's like the only thing that could make it worse if they somehow have burning and green the day, you know? Let's see, so I'm gonna take my force of vigor now. Hmm. Ooh, Thoughtseize bug. I got him. Got him with the Thoughtseize bug, boys. Are you sure? That's fine. Oh. It's making my deck not working. Put extra shredder. Hmm. I kind of just got it all. Unfortunately, they gotta see which card I was gonna draw. So they got rid of the land that I wanted to draw. Pretty badly. But we still have a crashing football that's coming off to suspend here soon, so it's not the end of the world. We also draw a somewhat relevant card. But not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. No round late. Good for me. That means I don't have Snaring Bridge this turn. And it's going to be hard for them to have Discard Spell Plus and Snaring Bridge next turn. Which, or they need to have something to spell. Some, something along those lines has to happen. Ooh, force Engagement is a good pickup. Oh, I forgot. They, they do not have. <laughs> they're not not selling six, so they don't just like kill them this turn. Hmm. Hmm. That's kind of funny. Eventually I'll draw a third land, right? Eventually I'll draw a third land. X equals two. What is that going to get? Just a spell's code? Okay. 
That's no problem for me. Look for the follow. Are you sure? 68. Or H, H here. Okay, we got him. I am going to. Am I going to change anything in my sideboarding? Possibly want some mystical disputes here. Order fire eyes. So we're like here, maybe. I'll try this out. We'll see how it works out. I go use the bathroom and I'll be right back. Okay, back. Um, seems like a pretty easy keep to me. Be able to finally catch the stream. Great work. I'll try my best. Sorry about the technical difficulties that is today of just like the stream buffering. I'm not quite sure why it's like that. And I think I need to call Comcast, see what's going on. Complete variant. I have not seen the splash white for Teferi Art Complete Variant in a long time. So couldn't tell you. Hopefully this. The classic thoughts use bug strikes again. Should have probably iced them. Another discard. Well, wow. okay. Fortunate. Why does it do that? I think I just want to draw some extra cards here, hopefully. Of course, figuring out a bad one. Are they going to crack their lantern? I guess so. Other eyes, okay. Well. I guess that's good for me. Is that mystical speed for the word? I'm not too worried about it. Well, not a bad draw at all. I don't normally find the decks that I play. Go to MTG Goldfish. And just look up like modern recent events, and you'll see like all the big events happened recently. You can find deck lists in there. I also like look at Twitter like in the morning usually. That card is essentially irrelevant. Though they're probably gonna name Misty Rainforest. It's the mind sculpture. Okay. I mean, 
some deck was played Jace, so. Not surprising. But, um, yeah, I also look on, like, Twitter to see if there's any deck lists that look interesting. Take from there as well. Possible not supposed to suspend there. Play towards, um, like, a Force of Vigor. Potentially up to offcast. Okay, I just don't care. I guess they're gonna name Misty Rainforest, so maybe I should have cared. But I don't think I care. I'm gonna leave the fire eyes in my hand in case I need to go for like burning them out. Like I'm probably gonna have to go for the burnout plan here if they have another. I mean, they could just not have another incinerating bridge. It's possible as well. Do I have to go for burnout or draw force of vigor, brazen borrower? I actually have a good chunk of draws, so I don't care about it. Ooh, ee for zero. That gets me good. That gets me good. That gets me good. That one gets me good. Snare bridge right afterwards. Okay. So they top decked one of those, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. This is fun, I think. This is a classic gameplay maneuver. Fire them, thoughts he's on the stack. I'll let your thoughts use resolve, bud. I'll let the thoughts use resolve. Yeah, that's what we're talking. That's what we're talking about. Do you take any requests from like MCU top eight at all? What is that? What do you mean? Like deck donations, stuff like that? I basically try to never take deck donations. Mainly because I think they're a little bit um almost predatory to an extent. And, um... And, uh... I usually don't enjoy them very much. I think I would have to put them at a pretty high price to make it so they'd be worth my while. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Well, we're well on our way to a 5-0. I would love to get a 5-0 here. My first one of the season. A lot of poros and into whiffs recently. So I would love to change that from a 4-0 into a hit. Into, so a 4-0 into a whiff. Mm, yeah, I got a mulligan to this. I really, like, back-to-back, -back, 
back to back playing match against players that play decks that I greatly don't enjoy. Oh, sure. My opponent plays like this bant, like weird card stack. Playing script as far as So plays better player pilot as well as it's not my meta. It's fair. But um yeah, I would maybe check out like a rental service like um Mana Traders. Maybe you can or I guess Card Hoarder works as well. But Card Hoarder, I'm not sure if they're doing new things yet. They were I know in the past they said that they were not taking new applicants. I want to destroy their artifacts. I want to destroy their artifact and draw two. And no, this is create a treasure token. Fair play to draw two and destroy this artifact. There we go. I don't currently have a PC. I see. I see. I know there are other people that do um, donation deck lists. I put it at like fifty dollars because I usually don't like playing other people's decks as much. But um I know that's like a lot. I know they think like Doom Wake and Aspiring Spike do it for less. So um if you want you can ask them as they're also more popular. <laughs> that hurts a lot. And I think they do it for cheaper, so yeah. Even though, you know, obviously giving... I could take the money, but... They probably enjoy it more than I do. Uh, I'm just expecting to get Ice Fang Quelled, even though they already showed two down. I can't really do anything about it. Uh, it's so unlikely for them to Ice Fang Quell, but... How much I can do about it. Like, not much. I mean, I can literally do nothing about it. Uh, not making the treasure token ended up coming back to hurt me. Pretty bad. Uh. Guess I just do nothing. Uh, they showed two Ice Fang Quaddles, put the bottom of the deck, and they still had Ice Fang. So annoying. Here comes it, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, if I draw land, I feel good about my spot. If I don't, I feel pretty bad. I guess I can force negation it now. Pitching the Prismari command. Because they have, like, a pile of counter spells in their deck, so we have to, like, play towards beating the pile of counter spells. Never playing kind of, like, sucks, but it's the way we gotta do it. Take the 
Let's fail. Try and fire at his third. Hmm. I guess is that they have counter spell. Still gonna attack, don't really have an option not to, I don't think. I guess I could have gone for just like Brazen Borrower then. I go for Brazen Borrower and then like try to fire nice the next turn maybe, or like fire us on step and go for like Fury. Then I like don't attack and I didn't miss out on a lot of damage. To do. Okay, I want to draw land here pretty badly. Isaac, thank you for the prime, I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, Isaac. Okay. <sighs> My opponent's deck is just a straight masterpiece of horrid, horrid mana cost. And hoping your opponent just does nothing. They want to draw land. I hope they don't have a counter spell, of course. Hmm. See. They kind of have their loop set up, so I probably can't win anymore. I don't think I want this. Probably cut a raisin bar, right? Sick deck. <laughs> Thank you, Kiki. I'm 4 0 so far, but I'm playing against An Antoine, who just always has my number, like, no matter what. I somehow beat him in Mana Trader, which is, like, ungodly. My opponent's deck is, like, the biggest mash of cards together. It's absurd. Um, I guess I'll keep this in. I'm not most excited about it. Hmm. Aether Vile, turn one. Name a more iconic duo than An Antoine always having turn one Aether Vile. Turn one Aether Vile. Guarantee you.
think that this game is almost assuredly lost already, unfortunately. Aether Vial kind of ruins me if I don't draw like a Prismari command real quickly. Well, maybe I was just lying. Well, I'm ready for me to kill this Aether Vial. Kill the Aether Vial. Like mystical dispute or counter spell, I guess. Hope for the best. Mystical dispute. They're gonna, uh, oh wow, they just have like nothing. That's crazy. Ooh, that was a nice draw. I'm, they just have nothing, I guess. I guess they just had nothing. I thought this game was going to be over, because they would have literally anything. But they just don't have anything. I'm so surprised. Okay. Well, we got lucky there to try to miss with this view, didn't we? Didn't know they had Force Negation. Would have discarded a Fury if I knew they had Force Negation in their deck. Deppy attention cap. They've got it all. They and if they force negation, that means that they like had to. I guess maybe I don't know. I don't really want to play the land out here. I don't think. Sink well main phase. Okay. Aether Vile, okay. I just want to put like as much power onto the board as possible, I think. It sucks they have like another Deputy of Attention, but you know. This just like deals so much damage. And puts it in a good spot for next turn as well. Like the Aether Vile doesn't really matter this turn either. Fair any? Sure. They're dead on board. They're still dead on board. <laughs> okay. Won that game, I guess. Yeah. I like me to keep Force Negations in for like Vials and Teferis. And they've got like Ephemerate and other stuff. Unfortunately. Um, I can keep the sand. Turn one Aether Vial. Oh, no turn one Aether Vial, just tap land. I guess I gotta get Breathe Blue Hmm. I'm not gonna do this. I get this actually. It's fine. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Brocolo91. You guys are not following. Would appreciate a follow. Free to do. Doesn't hurt you in any way. Only helps me, you know? Doesn't hurt you. Only helps me. Hold on, Risk Call, that makes sense. 
That makes sense. Meddling mage. Interesting. It's actually a bit scary. Probably have a femrit. Ooh. Never mind. Not a femrit. This is not going to work out how they want it to, though. Unless they're going to name Stomp. Damage cannot be prevented. Ooh. That's a feels bad for him. That's a feels bad. I'm just supposed to main phase this. Sucks, obviously, if they have, um, have exactly deputy retention. I don't think I want to listen to that. You believe you submit full of reimbursement. <laughs> And sometimes you make mistakes. Force of negation. Eh. Fine, I've got my own force negation. That's bullshit. Uh, maybe that was bad, because they could play Teferi Time Raveler here. That'd be kind of bad for me. But I guess besides that, I don't think there's much in... Ooh. That sucks for me as well. But I guess they would have done that on the end step, anyways. So it kind of would have gotten me regardless. Although, they get rid of my Rhinos, I get more Rhinos next turn. I Fury down this. There's like two things they gotta deal with. They have Force Negation. I guess they could just force here. That could be their game plan. Oh, they don't. Okay. They can't force. I think putting down this is going to be good for me. Ooh, maybe we do actually get our 5-0. Maybe we do actually get the 5-0. It's possible. Maybe we actually do get the 5-0. It's pretty impressive. Yep, Fury is like pretty impressive. GG's as opponent. GG's for us. Good about GG's. Well, 5 0. Oh. I'm not going to be a complainer about the 5 0. Oh. Let us open the best chest I've ever opened my entire life. Let's go here. This is, I think, some good chests. I think these were actually finally some good chests. Pretty sure Tasha's hideous laughter. Yep, promo. Well, it's like nine tickets. Cauldre Confident. Cauldre Confident. Yeah, made some made some tickets. 170 play points too. Not gonna complain. Well. For watching this on YouTube and you like the video, make sure to give me a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch and Twitter in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.